Hello my lovely Cancers, I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today. My name is Rachel and welcome to your weekly oracle card reading. These readings are timeless, so whenever you are watching this it's because you've been drawn to it for a reason. Please continue to watch so you can receive the messages you are meant to receive. This is for all Cancers, Sun, Moon and Rising. Please take what resonates. If it doesn't resonate, leave it where it is. Don't try and force it or fit it into your life. You'll just give yourself a headache. You will know if it resonates with you or not by a feeling that you will get. Uh, your intuition will tell you. Um, I have four decks uh, in front of me today. Three of them I will do a three card pull and one of them I will do a one card pull. Okay, since I started your reading, uh, Cancers, I've been having a very itchy right hand. Um, my mama always told me that right to receive so let's see what your reading says anything to do with this today i finish off this reading with a message from the angels at book also um, i now have a second youtube channel uh, where i go through the cards and i explain what each of the meanings of the cards are according to um the creators of the of the of the decks um, I also talk about zodiac signs, astrology, numerology and all the things that I love about the divine. So if you're interested in that, there is a link to that channel in the description box below. Um, I would love for you to go and check some of the videos out and uh, send, send some love my way. Um, at the moment, I think it's, yeah, actually, I don't think I know because I did it. Um, it is the... Uh, tarot cards, the meanings of the major arcana and some of the minor arcana, if not all of them, and the court cards will be out there in the next week or so. Uh, so please go and check that out. Okay, my hand is still itching. If that's for you or for me, I am happy because I am Cancer, Moon and Rising, so abundance, come my way. I am open and ready to receive whatever you have to offer. Okay, so the first card that came out was uh, Loosen Your Grip coping mechanisms, density, addiction, let God in. So what are you, um, what are you using as a coping mechanism? Is it work? Is it an addiction? It doesn't necessarily mean like substance abuse, but what are you using to help you cope with something that's going on in your life right now? A lot of people do, um, uh, have this with work. Okay. The, the, um, what, they, they work a lot to try and uh, numb the pain of something else. Um, it could be the fact that you are addicted to fitness, that you are having trouble with your, your nutrition at the moment. Um, could be that you're addicted to your phone um, or addicted to social media. It could be a number of different things that is actually um, masking the true issue that's going on. Uh, they're telling you to loosen your grip and uh, take the mask down a bit so that you can actually deal with the feelings you need to deal with. On the next card, we have star bathing, light body, crystal grid, transmission, activation. It's telling you, as you can see there, I don't know if you can see it, but she's led down there. There she is, led down. It's time for you to rest so that you can um, deal with all these issues that you need, you may need to deal with. And then you're going to transform into something else. Uh, you're going to be activating your um, inner you and activating something that you didn't know that was there or that you forgot was there. And then the next card we've got is Messenger, Serious Energy, bringing harmony and balance. Yeah, so I feel that you are holding on to something and you need to let go of it or you're you're using something as a coping mechanism to mask uh, the your true feelings so that you don't have to deal with it and they're telling you to loosen your grip and to kind of fall so that you can deal with those issues um, and then you're going to need to take some rest um, because then you're going to kind of you're going to heal from it and then you're going to it's like your activation into the new version of you um, and then you're going to need to bring harmony and balance into your life somehow. 
Okay, so by taking, by loosening the grip, by taking some rest, you are going to then bring harmony and balance into your life where you're going to be the happier version of you. Then on the bottom of the deck, we've got the blue flame, a spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. So you've done your resting, you're bringing into harmony and balance, and now it's time to uh, awaken and step into your higher self and step into the person that you are meant to be. Okay, this is it. If you've been waiting for this for a while, it's now. This is it now. You are about to step up, step up a level or level up and step into your higher self and step into the person that you are destined to be. But the only way you can do that is to loosen the grip on um, whatever it is that you are using as a coping mechanism and actually deal with the feelings that are underneath. So let's move on to another deck and see what we've got going on here. So a lot of cards want to jump out, but I don't want to read the whole deck. So can you just give me a few more cards, please, Angel Spirits, guys? Okay. Yes. Wow. Okay. I feel that you may have been through some kind of pain, some heartbreak in some way. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean a relationship pain. This could be any kind of heartbreak where it just hurts. And you've had to, like, kind of... It's, it's become so painful and so, um, I want to say like a lot of home truths came out that you found really difficult to deal with. So you started using something as a way of coping with it. So you could just kind of didn't have to deal with it. Um, because you started questioning a lot about you and it started questioning a lot about the situation and what you thought was real and what you thought wasn't. Um... And it's coming to a point now where you like if you don't deal with it, then the universe is going to make you deal with it. So it's up to you which way you want the universe to do it, which might not be pretty, or do you want to deal with it? Not happen now. Deal with it in your own way. My hand is really itchy. Okay, so the card that came out of the next deck was the full moon in Aquarius and it says be real and that is coming under the loosen your grip card and I do feel that is very apparent. You need to be real. You need to be very real with what is you are actually using as a coping mechanism to not deal with your true feelings. You need to uh, kind of step out of the circle and look in and be very realistic of what's going on in your life right now. Um, and then also you need to just be the real version of you. Uh, an Aquarius loves to loves freedom, uh, loves to do things in their own time. And they like to just be authentic and unique. And I feel that you, that this is what this card is saying to you. Because this is the full moon in Aquarius. So, and I know that because my son is an Aquarius. So, um, and I, I love learning about planets. But anyway, head over to the other channel for that. So this is about being the real version of you and taking a realistic view of what you are using at the moment as a coping mechanism to not deal with your truth. Okay, and then under the star bathing one, we have the new moon in Taurus. And as I record this, we are in Taurus season. It is know your worth. And this is the thing, this is what I was saying, where I don't feel, I feel something has happened which has made you question it, which has made you feel like, am I the person I thought I was or am I somebody else? This is about you knowing who you are, knowing your worth, being real about you and actually showing people who you are and showing people that even if you don't think I'm worth it, I know I'm worth it and that's all that matters. I am not going to change who I am because you think that I should be. Because you don't live with me 24-7. I live with me 24-7. So I need to know that I am good enough. I am capable enough. I am enough. And I am worthy of everything that I desire in my life. Regardless of the opinion of someone else. You need to know your worth. Underneath the messenger is bringing yourself into harmony and balance. You've got the full moon in Virgo, which is saying take inspired action. So to find harmony and balance in your life, you need to take inspired action. This is what this loosen your grip with the um, control mechanism that you may be using. It's taking the action to stop that coping mechanism. It's taking the action to... Um, to find ways of bringing harmony and balance into your life, whether that is like taking time out for you to meditate, to do yoga, uh, just to go and do a hobby that is just yours, but it's about bringing that into, um, into balance for you. 
And on the bottom of the deck, underneath the blue flame, we have the last quarter moon in Taurus. So two Taurus moon cards here. Be proud of yourself. Absolutely. Be completely proud of what you have achieved, of who you are. There is nothing to be shameful of. We may have we may have all made mistakes in the past. We all have, and we're going to continue to do that because that's how we learn and grow. But it's about how you've, um, those painful experiences that you've had, it's about how that you have come out of that the other side and how you can be proud of yourself that, yeah, I may have made mistakes, but at least I stand up and I own those mistakes. And at least I deal with those mistakes. And I heal myself from that pain so that I can be the best version of me. Now that, that is something to be proud of. So let's go into our last deck of cards where we do a three card pull before we do a one card pull and the messages from too many cards, thank you, uh, from the Angels book. Okay. Okay, any cards for our lovely uh, Cancers today? Okay. Oh, okay. Any? Oh, okay. Right. So the first card that's coming in um, behind, under Loosen Your Grip and the Be Real card is the Turquoise card, which is your spiritual path. So your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. Yeah, so loosen your grip, be real, and start looking within and start looking at yourself a little bit more. So what are your beliefs now? So this uh, this thing that has made happen, this situation that has happened, uh, you feel like, I don't know who I am anymore. You're questioning a lot of different things and it's telling you to take a bit of a realistic point of view of where you're coming from and start being the real you. But you need to question, who is the real me? I don't know who the real me is anymore. So maybe you need to... Um, start looking at what what are your values what are your beliefs what is it that you want in this life okay and then make those necessary changes so here you've got take inspired action it's making those necessary changes in your life um so that you can uh, become clear of who you really are so you can be the real you then underneath the star bathing and the know your where you got a piff of light which is increased support. Your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway to abundance of help and opportunities. Didn't I say I was having an itchy right hand? Hmm? A really itchy right hand? So this is, you, you're taking some time to rest, to recover, to recuperate, to heal from the situations. You know your worth, you're learning about who, about your worth and what your worth is. Um, who you are and that you deserve everything. And this is about increased support. That from knowing that, from knowing your worth and being who you truly are, you are gonna have abundance flow into you in one way or another. Now that could be in the form of money, it could be in the form of love and happiness, whatever it may be, but you're gonna be abundantly showered with all of this that is that is your that is coming to you. So you have increased support from the other realm from angel spirits guides god universe source whatever you believe as a higher power they are watching you they are guiding you they are with you and they are going to reward you from all the hard work that you will be doing and then underneath the messenger the take inspired action we then have unakite which is answered prayers all your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support absolutely your prayers are being answered you need to bring harmony and balance into your life uh, so that you feel completely fulfilled and you need to take inspired action to do that and then once you have once you have done that and you've got the increased support here all that work that you have um done will um will be rewarded like i just said you've got the increased support there and answer prayer you are going to be rewarded in abundance of something and then the very last card in the deck is under the blue flame and the be proud of yourself is so delight, which is socialise or join in. Make healthy and supportive new friendships and connections by getting involved with a group of like-minded people. So now that you are your true self, you might not even have to go searching for these people because they will find you. But if you do have to go searching for them, I feel that the situation that um, you 
that has happened has um, completely upheavaled your life and you might feel a little bit isolated and alone. It's just telling you, once you start being your true self, go and find people that are like-minded as you and then you really will find your soul tribe and the people you're supposed to be around. So let's do a one card pull from the Life Purpose cards and see if this gives us any more wisdom or knowledge of what you need to uh, focus on right now. This could be a career, could be anything. So is anything going to come out of this? That one there? Wow. Okay, so the one card pull is light and love. Okay, your purpose is to, to bring is to bring to find healing and love to the world. Now that could solely mean bringing healing to yourself so that you can be who you truly are and that is contributing to the world. Or it could mean that the journey that you've been on for the healing that you've done is now time to go and share that with other people so that you can heal more people in this world with the, the, um, the knowledge, the wisdom and the love and light that you bring yourself. You now want to shine on to others, whatever resonates with you. So let's finish the reading off with the messages from Angel. So Angel Spirits, guys, thank you for all the cards on the table today. Thank you for sending me the messages to relay to our lovely cancers. Please, can you clarify all the messages on the table with one final message from this book um, to, to let our cancers have a wonderful day and the rest of their week. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. Any sort of pretense seems unworthy of angels. Often the decisions we create self-imposed challenges, which are wonderful opportunities for spiritual growth. But if we do not face the challenge, not only will we miss a chance to move on, we will have to face the same challenge over and over until we do confront it. Be honest with yourself. If you deceive yourself by pretending that everything is perfect, your goals become hazy. You bury your potential. Every you you. Your potential brilliance, sorry, under layers of self-deception and illusion and you defeat your quest for self-improvement. Ask the angels for help. Wow, straight away, the first card was loosen your grip. You are not being your true self. You're not being your real you and you're using something else to, to mask this situation. The angels are telling you right here, ask them for support and it will be given because then you will be able to step into your higher self. Stop using coping mechanisms to deal with this the issues that are at heart. Wonderful, Reed. I hope that you really took something from that. Thank you for, that's all I've got for you today, my lovely cancers. Thank you for spending this time with me today. Um, if anything resonated with you, please drop it in the comment box below. I would love to co communicate with you and connect with you and build a lovely community around this channel. Please hit that like button. It will send this out into the world of YouTube where other cancers can hopefully uh, receive the messages they need to receive from this reading too. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and it will notify you every single time I upload a video and your reading is every Sunday. Don't forget to go in the description box below and head over to my other channel and send me some love over there to learn the meanings of all the cards. Also, I now offer private readings. So if you'd like a relationship, a career, a spirit animal, an angel reading or a general reading, then please head over to my Etsy shop. Again, the link is in the description below where you can purchase a... Um, a private reading from me. Um, I hope that whenever you're watching this, you are having a great day today and enjoy the rest of your beautiful week and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.